With that, we send you up to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, where Brandon Godden and Charles Davis have the call. Gentlemen. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the Green Bay Packers. One back is Lacey. Rodgers now on first down. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. have taken the early lead. Just how they wanted to start this one in the end zone on their first possession. And that just happened. How about that play right there? Back to the air. Tannehill on second down. Drops it off to Ajayi. Ajayi hit. He lost the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Did not make the playoffs that might make a push this coming year. Well, three that come to mind right away that we thought were going to be in in 2016. Minnesota, remember the start they got off to before that didn't work out so well. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. And, the, and he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. We'll be singing in the shower post game. Twists and turns in a good mystery novel. And I have a feeling we've got a few more twists and turns in store for us before they shake hands here. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play that time for the Packers. 56 yards. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? Off the play fake to Lacey. Here's Rodgers. They'll roll him out right. And complete right side to Cook. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal. And, he and he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Ripkowski taking it in. And the Packers add on to their lead. And that's why you have the fullback, Charles. Couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. Saw in this game, final play there, had it in the red zone. But anytime you're outside of the 10, that's tough. Trying to draw the final play to get in, and they couldn't do it. It certainly is. So what they were looking for was, you know, extra time. Too bad it's not FIFA soccer, right, where you get a little bit of extra, and you get a chance to run them a couple more plays and maybe get closer and take that last shot into the end zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.
The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.